Hi. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve a linear system with substitution. And I'll do an example where the coefficients on the equations have tons of fractions in them. So I'll show you how to deal with that. Okay, so this question is asking us to solve the following system. The first equation is y equals a half x plus 5. And the second equation is x divided by 3 plus y divided by 2 equals 7 over 4. Um, so the noticeable thing with this system is that it's full of fractions. Um, you can just go about so, uh, solving this uh, system with substitution just like any other system. Um, if you're reasonably good with fraction operations or if you just check really carefully in your calculator. Uh, right now though I'm going to show you how to sort of get rid of most of the fractions um, just by multiplying the equations by something. So like always, let's name them. This will be equation 1, this will be equation 2. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to, just like before we created equivalent equations by isolating a variable, um, we can equi create equivalent equations. So it's, it's a, the same equation essentially, it has all the same points on the line, the graph would look identical, but we can make this equation not have any more fractions. Um, so here's how we do it. So we'll write down what we're doing. Create an equivalent equation. EQN I also often use for equation to two by multiplying both sides by so what we're going to do is we're going to multiply both sides by the lowest common denominator of all the denominators. Because if we do that, all the fractions will go away. Um, so if 2, 3, and 4 is denominators, so the lowest common multiple of those numbers is going to be 12. So what I get is I have 12 times x over 3 plus y over 2 equals 12 times 17 over 4. So this, I'm totally allowed to do this because I'm multiplying both sides. If these were equal by before, if I multiply them by 12, they're still going to be equal. Um, and now, maybe I'll start writing this big for a minute. I'm going to distribute this. So I have 12x over 3 plus 12y over 2 equals 12 times 17 over 4. Now, if I chose the right number, the 12, then all of these uh, coefficients and terms here should simplify to whole numbers. So 12 over 3, that's 4. So 4x and 12 over, divided by 2 is 6. And 4x plus 6y equals, um, I could multiply 12 by 17 and divide by 4, but it's a bit easier if I do 12 divided by 4 first, so that's 3. And 3 times 17 is 51. So there we go. This equation is the same as, I mean, it looks different. So I guess we'll call them, we'll call them equivalent equations. And they're not exactly the same because they don't look the same. But they have, if there was a point that was on this line before, it's also on this line. They have all the same, same solutions. So I'm going to call this equation 2 prime, because it really is equation 2. But it looks so much nicer. Now I could, um, so I've got that all nice, I could take equation 1 and substitute right in, because I've got y isolated. And that would be a perfectly reasonable thing to do. Another reasonable thing to do, I notice if I double all everything, I'll have a 2y, and then I'll have 1x plus 10. And that's good because then my x will be isolated. My y is isolated now, but there my x will be isolated and the fractions will be gone. So both are perfectly fine choices. Um, but I'm going to double, I'll create an equivalent equation to number 1 by multiplying by 2. So 
So if you only have one denominator, the lowest common denominator is just that number. So you just multiply by the denominator. So I've got 2 times y equals 2 times a half x plus 5. So that's 2y equals 2 times a half x is x. 2 times 5 is 10. And then, right away, I'm going to isolate. I want to solve this system with substitution. If we think back to what our original goal is. So I want to isolate one of the variables. Um, and x right here is a perfectly good one to do. So isolate x in. I'm going to give this a name. I'll call This was equation 1, but multiplied by 2. So I'll call it 1 prime. And I'm going to do that by subtracting 10 from both sides. So I get x equals 2y minus 10. And then this equation is going to be important again, but it's still really number 1. You can call it equation 3 or equation 4 or whatever, but I'm going to call it 1 double prime. Okay, so now we've done all that preliminary work. Now we can substitute 1 double prime into 2 prime. So 2 prime was 4x. I'm putting my x in pink, because I know that later I'm going to substitute for x. It just makes it a little more clear what's happening. Plus 6y equals 51. And then I'll have 4 times. So I know from equation 1 double prime that x is equal to 2y minus 10. So now I'm going to simplify this equation. I'll have 8y minus 40 plus 6y equals 51. So that's 14y minus 40 equals 51. I'm trying to isolate y here. So I'll add 40 to both sides. And I get 14y equals 91. So now I need to divide by 14. And I'll do that on my calculator here. 91 divided by 14 is 6.5. There we go. I've got one of the variables done. So this would be equation 3. So now, to find, to find my value for x, I take equation 3, and I can substitute it into anything. Sometimes it's better to substitute into one of the original equations, in case you made a mistake, um, maybe rearranging or isolating. But because they both look a little bit messy, I'm going to substitute into one of these ones, like 2 prime, or 1 prime, or 1 double prime. Maybe, maybe 2 prime, none of, none of them look much easier than any others. So I'm going to substitute 3 into 2 prime. So I have 4x plus 6 times, so this is my y, which is 6.5. equals a 51. So 4x plus what's 6 times 6.5 is 39. Then I'll subtract 39 from both sides. 4x equals 12. 
12. And then divide by 4, and I get x equals 3. Oh my. So this is going to be equation 4. I really run out of space here. I guess I'll write the solution in this box here. The solution is xy equals my x was 3 and my y value was 6.5. Now every time you solve a system, I want you to check by substituting the x and y values back into the equation. Um, I'm not going to do this now because clearly I've run out of space and also because I think that, that it's simple enough now that you can just put these in put it in your calculator, see if they come out the same. I think you don't need to watch me do any more examples. But So remember, if you want to get rid of the fractions in an equation, you can create an equivalent equation. It means it's basically the same. By multiplying the whole equation, everything in the equation, by whatever the lowest common denominator is. And once we did that both times, then we just, over here, we're just solving with substitution, uh, with substitution like normal. Okay, good luck with it.